okay so after 1527 refreshes uh finally i got a decision on so hey guys and welcome to the third video of this channel i am niket a fall 22 masters prospective student and in today's video is discussing about arizona state university also known as the party school of usa few days back i have received my decision from usu i had applied for the professional masters in computer science course that is mcs on 26th of november uh, the i have categorized it as a moderate university for me and the application process was quite simple we have to just provide them the gre toefl or ielts score our an official transcript ka copy and a personal statement okay once you have submitted your application you will receive a azure right id within 24 hours okay with this azure right id you can access asu portal where you will get all the updates like if some task is pending or your application status as i had uh, as it takes around 10 days for the toefl scores to reach asu ka institution so my uh, application went into review state on 3rd of december you guys know that asu provides rolling based decision so at any point of time you can get your decision thus begins the most painful period of an application process that is to wait okay so after 1527 refreshes uh, finally i got a decision on 21st january 9:55 pm uh, so yeah i got an admit and i was pretty happy with it to be honest i was half asleep and it took me around a couple of minutes to realize it my office has a 15 minutes daily stand up meet at 10 am so once that got over i texted my parents blinks and my friends that i got in i got in i got in. i felt like very 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 relieved at that point if you want to know my whole profile that is gres and gps with which i have applied to asu then just head over to the video in the description asu has a very unique way to select students i have seen many 8.5 cgpa students who are getting reject or getting admits in software engineering even though they have applied for computer science course okay so since the last 4 months i have been analyzing like hundreds of admits and rejects from asu and i have come up with a logic uh, this is my own logic so it is highly probable that the whole thing is incorrect so don't blindly trust on this and don't take it super seriously Uh, according to my logic to get an admit in mscs or mcs program you should at least have 95 in toefl 302 in gre a good personal statement which shows your current learning your future goals and how asu can help you with your future goals okay the third thing you must have a gpa greater than 7.75 with no backlogs and the fourth and most important point is the institution check count okay i only i have termed this so sorry okay so, go to yocket or linkedin and see how many of your college alumni are studying or have studied at asu okay i'll give you my example so i have studied from kit and there are at least 20 people from kit who are currently studying or have studied at asu okay so i'll consider my icc is greater than 20 okay so let's combine the last two points the cgp and the icc according to my calculation there can be four cases first one if you have a gpa greater than 8.1 and icc is greater than 10 then you will definitely get an admit okay case number 2 if you have a gpa greater than 9 if your icc is less than 5 they would select you and give you an admit within 2 3 weeks because greater than 9 cgpa shows that you are a bright student and uh, and if they want to check that your undergrad college was good enough for their prerequisite knowledge that you they want then yeah they will definitely try you because they will get to know if your college is worth it or not so if you get in maybe uh, there will be high probability that next year they will pick students from your college third case if your gpa is between 7.75 and 8.1 and icc is greater than 10 then uh, if your gre score say, is greater than 310 and your personal statement is on next level then only they will give you an admit so you have to take care of this and case fourth uh i really feel sad for this case but if your gpa is around 8.5 8.6 
and the ICC is less than 5, then straight up reject. I've seen many students on Yorkit and community groups of Facebook that they are saying that they are getting rejects even though their CGPA is 8.5 and they were thinking that this is a safe university for them. So yeah, okay. This was my understanding of the current ASU decision trend. Once again, I'm saying that this is highly probable that uh, my understanding is incorrect. So don't blindly trust on this. Because of this positive ASU decision, I have gained some confidence in me and I'm going to apply for five more universities mostly Ivy Leagues this time uh, and I'll be soon making a video on what all colleges I'm going to apply to and these five universities will take my total count to 21 universities if you want to know what other 16 universities I have applied to you can check with this i button there uh, yeah so that's it for this video and please do subscribe me uh, that's it tata bye bye see you good night